The Killing Fields kind of represents what HBO's Real Sports is all about. I mean, we've, we've tried to broaden the definition of sports and tried to look at sports and, and some of its societal implications um, beyond the score and beyond the, the personalities. And, uh, you know, under the guise of sport, um, big game hunting has become uh, a big deal economically, socially, culturally, and the consequences of it are, are devastating for the elephant population in some of the poorer nations of particularly East Africa. And so the Killing Fields is basically shining a light upon um, the extent to which these animals are being slaughtered for profit and how impoverished nations are ill-equipped to uh, deal with the poachers effectively and with those who are paying for the right to hunt these incredible animals. It's an enormously emotional piece. It's, it, is, it is a violent piece. It is, it is frightening in its violence sometimes. And the extent to which humans can, can exact this kind of callous violence on such magnificent animals is, is mind-numbing. John Jackson of Metairie, Louisiana, has built up his trophy collection over 40 years. He spent millions, all told, but voices neither regret nor guilt. He insists that most of his victims brought their fate on themselves. Never mind that he is the one stalking them through the bush, armed with a gun and a license to kill. In terms of the empathy um, that the story engenders, um, the intense feelings that it engenders, um, you know, you don't have to do a lot except show the reality. Um, it's frightening. It's frightening how inhumane um, some people can be. Because we have intelligence doesn't mean we're superior to them. It doesn't mean we can live on, we can kill them into extinction. They deserve better than that, and we should be smarter than that. Consumers around the world, from China to here in the U.S., will pay top dollar for ivory jewelry and statuettes, even, in a dark irony, ones carved into little elephants. It speaks to what I've always believed and what Real Sports believes um, television should be about, which is we should show you things and tell you things that you would not otherwise know. Um, and that's what we're about. We don't care that the Dodgers beat the Giants three to two. We don't care that the, the Patriots beat the Ravens 28 to 14. That's not what we're about. We're about the implications and impact of sport on society and the extent to which um, they uh, impact our feelings about um, cultural issues, about gender, about race, about class, about morality. Um, there's a whole play being, being, being played out in the sports world on a regular basis that has nothing to do with the score.